So my name is Wanda Katoon. Um, I'm an artist currently based here in Baltimore, originally from Macon, Georgia, but um, I've made Baltimore my home for the past three years. And we're here at Amazing Grace Church. Um, today is Saturday, March 30th, 2019. And um, we're really here to kick off a project funded um, by the Gutierrez, Gutierrez Memorial Foundation. Um, I was the recipient of this year's um, award and I applied to um, kind of re-envision this breezeway space that's typically used by the church for game nights, movie nights, church meetings. I just felt like if we were going to be utilizing this space as a community and if the church in and of itself is a place of healing and wellness, then this space should reflect that. Um, and so in just a few moments we'll be um, convening a, I guess like a focus a group of community members to talk about um, how how we could actually re-envision this space as a place of healing and just letting the community run wild with their creativity whether it's adults children or what have you uh, the basis of it is it's create items or the outcomes are created with the end user in mind so I'm not seeing like oh I see a problem let me just solve it because I think this is what they want me to do is going straight to the folks that use that space in the um, in the idea of the church, of course. Um, so the folks that use that space are the end users of an item or something like that, and doing the research with those folks to say, okay, how would we do this? If you could do it, what could you change? And then defining the problem, not according to what I think, but what the consumers think. Um, and so the way the framework works is it starts with empathy and so what they do with empathy is you go straight to those sources and you interview each other so what we're going to end up doing today you're all going to be interviewing each other and i'm going to give you some guiding questions to um to get some ideas down and things like that after the empathy phase you have all this information now from who you've worked with then you have to define the problem and so it's like, okay, so even if it's not a problem, define why we're here. So when I approached this, pro or this project, I said, you know, I really want to make the breezeway look and feel like a place of healing. Living here, growing up here. That's all I can So the, a few questions that I want you guys to think about. First question, um, think about the last time you were in a place, regardless of whether it was here, wherever, that made you feel like healing? What do you think it is, and this is a question for you guys, but also for everyone else, what do you think it is about the breezeway and the events in the breezeway that makes it that safe space where people can just be themselves? Just the openness, just, I think. Yeah, just the like openness. Everybody being outside. Yeah. You know, you know it's, it's different being out in the breezeway when you have an event out there. And you when you're coming in here. You so we should have had it's out there. It's just, you can be yourself out there. Yourself out there. Out there. about 5 30 on Saturday mm, what month is it September 14th um, and we are here in the breezeway for the breezeway dedication right now they're having a community concert inside So there were three different objectives with this project. One of the objectives was to engage the community 
Um, another one was to educate the community. Um, and another one, and the last one was to beautify the community. And so what we ended up doing was, I, with the help of members of the church and just members of the community, was able to corral a group of individuals from the neighborhood um, and we had a design thinking session. And it's really just a sophisticated brainstorming session and way to solve problems. Um, and so within this brainstorming session, um, they came up with several different words, but they mentioned vibrant colors, they mentioned feeling cozy, they mentioned um, water and wind and um, and rainbows and things like that. The next, the following Saturdays, we um, had kind of lessons about mosaic artwork and what it means, what it looks like, the process, etc. We made um, these different bubbles that you'll see on the wall behind me. Um, so different members of the community made the different bubbles on the wall, but to make it something that flowed, um, we came up with the concept of the wind flowing around the bubbles. Um, and we also on the other side decided to focus around water and the life that comes from water. Everything kicked off on March 30th. And since then, um, like I said, today is September 14th, we've been working um, on this project to really make this place come to life. Um, everything from movie nights to community meetings um, to yoga happens in this space. So we really wanted to make it look and feel like the healing that happens here. As we begin our time together, I'm going to ask uh, for you to indulge me with a prayer, but it's a song prayer, and you'll you'll uh, you can you can uh, join in. Very, it's pretty simple. You'll get it real quick. <laughs> Lord, be present in this place. Alleluia. Flood your healing. Flood your grace. Alleluia. Lift in my whole heart. All my whole life, done hard to dodge bullets, it's really about life. The systems of beasts, predator day or night, your soul is the prey, so protect your light, so protect your light. <laughs> 